Hello everyone and welcome back again. In this video, I am going to explain the transitions and animations in the PowerPoint 2019. First of all, what's the transitions and animation? Transitions, both transitions and animation is like uh, a kind of uh, effects, motions, or something like this, or some kind of movements. We can apply it on any object or anything in the PowerPoint. So transitions and animations like effects, like motions or something like this. This effects and this motions will apply it in the objects or in the slide or something like this in the PowerPoint. So now what's the difference between transitions and animation? The transitions is like an effects or motions or movements. We apply it on the entire slide, just in the slide. So you apply the transition in the slide and when we moving from the slide to another. So we move between the slides, moving between the slides, we will see this effects or this transitions. This is the transitions. Animation also is effect, effects or motion, but we applied animation on the objects inside the slide, anything inside the slide. So like we said before, Anything inside the slides, we can name it object, like shapes, like uh, video, like table, like uh, images, text, and so on. So this is the difference. Both are uh, both transitions and uh, animations are just a kind of effects or motions or movements. But the transitions apply in the other slide, entire slide, and between the slides when we moving from the slide to another. And or when we go from the slide to another, I mean. But animation, we apply it in anything inside the slide. So we just select the object, any object, and we can apply a kind of animation on this object. So now let's start with the practical side. So here, in order to start with transitions, so just go here in the transition tab. Uh, and transitions is very straightforward. So we can just see from here, you can select or choose any type of transitions from here for example I prefer this type crash you can if you prefer any other types you can just select anyone from here so just uh, go to uh, crash for example so now I just apply this transition as you can see I applied this transition on the slide not on the YouTube for example or on the object here or objects like this no I applied in all the slide entire slide here so now you can apply in the first slide from here you can make a preview so I just see the preview of the transition and here I can say apply to all so we'll apply the transition to all slides so if when I run the display mode here click on it so now in the first slide and then when I go to another slide also apply click another time to see in the another slide and so on also you can add a different uh, transition to each slide so for example here I applied the crash but here I'm going to apply another one for example this one and this slide I can go click on the slide and then I will apply this one for example so now just uh, display mode just run your presentation or just a five to start from beginning so now the first slide like this the second slide like this and the third slide like this also of course you can add a sound here you can see here in the timing so I can add some kind of sound so for example this sound also make a preview I just add a sound but of course uh, in your presentation we don't need to add a slide in, in the general maybe in just some kind of, of presentation you need a slide a, a, a sound with the slide or with the transition but in general we don't need that so just say no slide here we can change the duration which means the time so here now only two seconds I can make it for example five seconds so now change the time and then apply to all to apply this changing to all the slides so now start now you can see it is slower you can make it faster or slower 
Also here in the advanced slide we have on mouse click or after some time. So here we need when they click the mouse in order to move in between the slides or go from the slide to another or move from the slide to another, we need to click in the mouse or on the keyboard. So I click and then go to another slide. We can do it like this after in the same time on mouse click or after or I can just remove this and just after. So after for example in the first slide here, I need just after five seconds for example, I need to go automatically to move to the next slide. And in the next slide, for example, I need 10 seconds or maybe two seconds, just for example, now for practicing. In the third slide, I need three seconds and so on. So now when I just run, I don't need to click anything. Just waiting in the first slide, just waiting five seconds and then automatically will move to the next slide. In the, in the second slide, I need to just waiting uh, two seconds to automatically go to another or the next slide and so on. That's almost everything about transitions. Now we start with animations. Animation is the different, as we said. Animation is also like effects, but we apply it on the object. Same thing here, so I can start here. This is an object, this is an object. Anything here is an object. So for example, the text here. You can just select this object here, which is the text. And from here, from animation, I can add any animation from here. We have, of course, many kinds of anim animation, or four types or four categories of animation. Uh, but now I just I don't care about that. I just start with the simple animation. And also we have a, a standard animation and custom animation. So here's standard animation. You can just add any normal animation or simple animations just from here. And from add animation, you can create your own animation. I mean, you can apply more than one animation to the one object from here. But now just for that here, again, here we also that an object, we said everything in the slide named object. So I can add also animation to this object. I can add this object also a table is an object. So I can add, for example, this animation. I can go here. We have many types of objects like this one. I will add this type of animation like this one here. I will add animation. This image also just an object. So I can just click on it and then apply a type of animation. The sun here, just a shape, so this animation. And the text here, also animation, so I can select any type and using this type here to apply it in this. So now if you just uh, run your uh, or start mode, display mode here, you'll find this transition on the slide. And then if you're just waiting here, we have animation also on a click apply the animation and then another moving to our to the next slide and also here we have animation go to another slide also here we have some animation in the table this animation and in the objects here also we have types of animations in those objects so this animation now for example if you can see here i just add some animation here a type of animation in the animation, we have many effects. For example, this one, I can choose here a, fl a fly in. Now it is start of flying from bottom to top, right? I can change that by just select this and go to effect options. So I need to start from left, for example. So just to start from left to right and so on. So you can change that. Same thing here. I can change it to make it like this or like this and so on. We have here the very important thing called animation pan. So in the animation pan, we can control all animations like visually here like this. So you can see all animations. So for example, if you click on this object, I have this animation associated with this object, this animation related or associated with this object and so on. Same thing here. So for example, I need to, to remove the object or remove, sorry, the animation. So just right click here by the mouse and we have removed the animation. Same thing here, click on it. I can remove it. I can change the duration from here. So you can change the time here. So I click here and just hover the mouse in the duration. So animation duration specify the length of an animation. So we have a time, the duration time for this animation. So here, if I change it from two seconds to the five, for example, you will see it will take a more time, be a slower. If 
I just go here, the first animation, you can see it is more slowly. Because I make it four seconds, I can make it like faster. Just make it one second, for example, and so on. As we can see here, we have in the animation, we just select click animation. Here we have one, we have two, three, four. And here also the first one, second one, third one, and fourth one. So I can change that. For example, the, this one, I will make it in the just to drag it and add it at the first one. So now this one is the first. So when we click here, open, and the first one will be this one because I added in the first. So you can add like a priority for those uh, animations in you. Also, we have a delay here. A delay is just an, just to play the animation after a certain number of seconds. So here, the animation doesn't start directly, but after two seconds or three seconds, as you want to from here. You can add anything, so start animation after some time. And you can see that visually from here, so not to start directly here. Also, we have another thing, which is a start here, the events. So the animation, this animation will start when you click, for example, and you click, so you need to click by the mouse or click in the keyboard or press a, a button in the keyboard, I mean, or you can make it with the previous, with the previous animation working at the same time, or we can make it after previous. So it will start after the previous animation. So for example, this one, or th this is the first one here, I need on a click, so I just add on a click. The second one, I need after previous. So say after previous, which means this one will start after this one finish. This one will start, then finish, and then this one. Then, another object I need after a previous as well. So when this one finish, this one will start. This one, I need it with the previous. So here will be with this one in the same time, or at the same time. So now I start here. The first animation need on a click, because I said on a click. So I now a click here. But after that, I just make one click here, sorry, click. There is a delay, so we just uh, a specific time, yes. After that, after a previous, and then in the same time, those working, because I said with the previous. So here we have some delay, so you can see three seconds, so waiting. And then this one also, I can change the duration, change the time. Also from here, I can change the time. You can, by the way, change the time also from here, visually, so you can. Change the duration by this way, or just change the delay, uh, or duration, or the time. So I can here, I can change also the duration from here. As you can see, the first one on a click, but the second one and the third one here after previous, so after this one finished. And this one with the previous, so at the same time with this one here. So I went start. And the first object, for the first object, I need to press something because I said on a click. So I just click here. Because the because of the delay here, so it's take some time. And then after the previous, automatically the second one will start. Then after that, at the same time, those will working, should be working at the same time here. So this almost everything about uh, the simple animations like this. So you can working with animations from here or here visually by using animation pan, it's very important. So you can usually do working with that, with duration or working with delay like this as you want. Or of course you can remove everything just by hit control and select everything here and control at the same time in the keyboard and then right click and remove. Also we have something else, for example this one, I add this animation here, I can change the duration so I can working with that. We can see we have something here at the left, like a list. So if you click on it, you can also working with that. So you can make it start previous, start after, or effect options and timing. For, uh, here we can effect options, also important. So I can here start from bottom, from left. For example, I can make it from right, start from right. Here you can make a smooth, just working with these options if you want. We can add a sound also to the animation and then here, you can go to timing, we can make change the duration for example, change the delay and also repeat, so this animation we're repeating three times for example and just say OK. Now I add the sound, change the duration and make it repetition, so repeating three times or more as you can see here. So I can working with animation in this way here.
In the next lecture, we will explain the custom animation and also the types or categories of animation. As we can see here, we have entrance, we have faces, exit, and so on. So in the next lecture, we will start with that. I hope you understand that and thank you very much.